Oh, so for six from the three point line oh, before you real? let that one oh, go. Yeah. 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 What, uh, you know, why take it from that distance? And you referenced Mamba mentality out on the court. Did something about Kobe go through your mind after you hit that shot? Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> what would he do in those moments? Why not? I mean, at the end of the day, y'all, 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 me in the gym, y'all see, y'all see what I work on. Some of y'all seen where I shoot from, where I've been shooting from since I've gotten hurt. So, y'all know I can make that. So, I mean, I know I can. Sure, I missed six, but I don't even remember missing them. When I shot it, I didn't even, I didn't think about the six I missed. I just thought about making that one. So, I mean, the rest of the game didn't matter. We ain't here talking about that shot. We ain't talking about the rest of the game, are we? So the rest of the game doesn't matter. I'm just staying in the moment. I learned that from Kobe. Stay in the moment. Um, and at the end of the day, you know, it went in. You know, so it's a great, it's a great uh, story for y'all to write for sure. And God is good. I mean, and uh, you know, I'm just thankful, man. It's an emotional night. Uh, obviously, I got a little emotional out there. That's just because the week has just been emotional from the passing of, of Kobe and Gigi and all the, everybody on the helicopter and and then uh you know just the year it's been it's been a, a roller coaster you know and at the end of the day you know I attacked that roller coaster oh man I'm gonna continue to attack it until I'm riding with the wheels off so I can't wait Nate mentioned that you addressed the team afterwards and thanked them could you give us a better <laughs> sense of what was said and also, just emotionally, obviously. What? Come on. You know I can't talk well, about the locker they, room. They, I'm just playing. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> uh, but I just thank them because, you know, I told them before the game, I just, I thank them before the game, too. And I told them I appreciated everything they've done for me because, you know, a lot of the stuff, you know, um, the cameras and the, and the media, it was a lot surrounded from my return. Um, and I feel as though in the national media, we don't get a lot of love as a whole. Um, and I guess it's because we're a small market team, but honestly, that's some BS, but it is what it is. At the end of the day, we thrive off it, but I just wanted to thank them because they needed to hear it. At the end of the day, I'm very appreciative of what they've done for me. The guys who don't play that much were playing with me pretty much every day, every other day, trying to get me ready. So. Um, the guys, you know, just lifting me up every day, holding it down out there. Um, they've been great people before basketball players, and I just wanted to tell them I had their back no matter what. Um, and I thanked them again after the game because I don't think they understood how tough of a year it was for me, uh, both physically and mentally. Um, but I'm a tough dude, man. I've been tough even before I was born. I wasn't even supposed to be here. So... Um, I'm gonna embrace every moment. Vic, can you describe what today was like for you as a whole, and what, at what point was the most emotional? Was that kind of waiting to go in at the scores table? Um, yeah, that's why I shot the first three. I was just trying to get the jitters out as fast as possible, man. Y'all see how fast I shot that first three? <laughs> I was after I shot, I said, "Okay, you missed. It's okay. Nothing else happened after you missed. It's okay. It's not that big of a deal. Everybody kept playing." Um, and then after I had that pass to Domas, um, and boy, have, uh, we, we've been talking about that first pocket pass for about seven months now. So, <laughs> so you know, I had to put a little sauce on it for him. But um, after I did that, I was, it was, I was good. And, uh, you know, obviously, you know, I didn't make all my shots, but, I mean, some days I will, some days I won't. But I was able to play the game I love. There's some people who can't say that. This is a rare injury. Like, I don't think you guys understand that nobody my age um, has had this injury. This injury is not common. Um, but who better to handle it than me, huh? <laughs> who better to, to have it than me, you know? Um, do the impossible, I guess that's what it is. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, I'm just thankful, like I said before. It's, uh, I feel like I just ran a marathon, 36-mile marathon, whatever, however long marathons are, honestly. Um, but I'm thankful for the people who you don't see, like um, like Celeste and Chrissy and Karen and 
Wes and, and uh, all those people who do the little things because they brought a smile and energy every day even when I wasn't playing that was infectious and um, I couldn't be down on myself being around these people because they were nothing but uplifting so shout out to just the Pacer organization as a whole um, the Simons have been amazing um, uplifting me as well this community from the mayor to <laughs> to IU to just this whole state is phenomenal we they should give us more love but don't worry our time is coming Victor did you um didn't you have a question oh oh my bad my bad <laughs> all love <laughs> go ahead go ahead go ahead uh, Victor over here. Wonder Matter. <laughs> did you expect uh Hutchison to maybe crowd you and make you put the ball on the floor rather than stand there and have you shoot it over him I didn't think he expected me to shoot that. Did you expect me to shoot that? No, no chance, no chance. Don't even say yeah, because you know it was no chance. You thought I was good, but at the end of the day, it was just, I mean, he got the ball. I looked over there to see if the play was forming. It didn't form. I went into VO mode after that. It's simple as that, Mamba mentality. So I just shot it with confidence, and it went in. It's a great shot, but tomorrow it means absolutely nothing. So I got to get ready for the Knicks. Nate told us that um, you hit your limit even though you didn't hit your limit in terms of minutes. Um, did they tell you at the end of regulation that was it for you, or did you think you might be back um, in? I kind of had an idea that I wasn't going to go back in. Um, you know, I, I you know, at first, I was like, maybe I should just run out there and they won't even notice. But I had a feeling um, that I wasn't going to go back just because it probably would be too much on my body right now. But, you know, at the end of the day, I'm thankful for being able just to run up and down, play, do anything. Because for a year, I couldn't. So you won't see me. I'm appreciative. You won't see me moping around or nothing. We lit all year. We lit. That's a fact. <laughs> um, and just uh, last thing for me, um, how sensitive are you to, as you work your way back into this, to the changing roles for some of your teammates as a result of the, the minute shift? I mean, I knew it was different for everybody. That's why I went in there and I made sure to, get a, to make an effort to thank them because I know it was different for everyone, especially like Aaron. I mean... Aaron Holiday is, is our unsung hero of the year. Like, he doesn't get enough credit. Dude is like, what, sec in his second year? And he looks like a eight-year veteran when he's out there. Like, he's gone out when we've had nobody. Malcolm's been down. Uh, some guys have been down, and he stepped up to the plate and been phenomenal for us. Um, Edmund as well. Um, and TJ's been working his butt off. So when his opportunity comes, he's ready, too. Um, got guys like Jakar who stepped up today, you know, when Miles wasn't there. Um, Goga played big minutes, and he hasn't, you know, played big minutes a lot this year, but he was ready too. So our depth is scary. Um, so hopefully I can add to it. <laughs>